love, light, and blessings. This is Shamanic Highway Priestess here. And I wanted to share um, a quick message that I got when I um, did some cards, did some card pulls, pulls for myself um, this morning. Because every morning, um, like all of us, I have a routine. And I usually draw a few cards. And I put set them up on my altar on the stand to kind of just a message to reflect about the day or things like that, um, what message my ancestors or my spirit guides may have for me for the day. And um, I was drawn to buy the Wildwood Tarot, which is a deck that I'm working with now. Um, we went to Barnes and Nobles the other day, and um, I don't know, like I just wanted to buy this deck. And as soon as I opened it, like my third eye was just pulsating. And I just got such a, like, reaction to it um and i was just drawn to get it so i've been doing some um morning pulls with it since i got it um i got the deck i think two days ago two days ago yeah about two days ago and um when i did my reading today the messages with this deck have been so spot on for me um because i got this card and i just thought i would share I'm sorry if there's a glare. I got the Seven of Vessels, so um, the morning card. And this is exactly what I'm going through. Um, I got some really bad news yesterday um, about someone that's been sick for a while, and it's not looking so good. And I'm kind of going through that morning period of, you know, someone that I really care about, their health isn't good, and... You know, they're trying to fight to stay to stay here and you know it's just not seeming like they're gonna be with us much longer and um, so that message really resonated with me um, and then I pulled another card and I got you know seeking your divine helpers and appreciating the good times and the memories and even though it's gonna be a painful loss you know me and this person did have a good time and I am planning to go out and visit this person you know and things like that and we did share a lot of good and beautiful memories and even though I can't imagine my life without them in it you know I'm gonna try to hold on to appreciating them as a person and showing them that I genuinely appreciate them and um, I'm accepting the fact because that's the thing about life, you know, um, there is light and there's shadow and it's okay to feel hurt. It's okay to not want somebody to leave us, you know, it's okay to feel that pain and it's okay not to hide from that pain and it's okay not to bottle up that pain because um, earlier today, you know, in the morning before I pulled this card, I was crying. And I'm the type of person that doesn't like to show her emotions because of the hard life that I've had. I'm someone who tends to hide a lot of her feelings. And it's just like Spirit was telling me, it's okay to mourn a loss. It's okay to feel sad. It's okay to, to cry. You know, that doesn't make you less strong. It doesn't make you less spiritual. It doesn't make you less of anything, you know. We all have pain. We all have times when we cry, you know, and we feel that. And sometimes we just can't talk our feelings out. Or sometimes when we go to our sacred place, we have no words and we just sit there and we'll cry, you know. And it's okay to ask for help, you know. And sometimes just appreciating the good times will help us get through these times. And so I'm gonna let her know that I appreciate her. And I'm gonna go visit her. And I'm gonna appreciate the few moments that we have left together. Um, so I just wanted to share this message for all of you out there who are going through things, who are experiencing a loss, who have experienced a loss. It's okay to be sad and it's okay to cry. But it's also okay just to Remember the good times too. And it's okay to ask for help. It's always okay to ask for help. Um, I know 
that message resonates with me in so many different levels because I have also been a person who suffers from depression and there's this thing in me that was afraid to ask for help in the past and I still struggle with that now it's okay to, to be in, to be sad you know and it's also okay to get up and try to when a person's sad like even just getting out of bed and going outside even if all you want to do is cry that takes a lot of courage it takes a lot of courage to face our feelings because there's so many people out there who are afraid to cry or who are afraid to be sad and unfortunately find other ways to bottle up those feelings maybe substance abuse or drinking or self-harming you know so it's okay to have those feelings it's okay to have sadness it's okay to have anger those negative feelings are also okay to have we can't always be happy and smiling but what I do know and what I do hold on to is that with everything in life there's a lesson and no matter how hard things are there's always going to be a light at the end of that tunnel and that's what I'm going to hold on to there's going to be because at the end of the day even when she's not here with us anymore I know that she'll be with me in spirit watching over me and my children so much love light and blessings and I just thought I would share this video with you guys and this very powerful reading that I got and just let everyone know out there that you know no matter how sad we may be or no matter what process or what level we may be in our mourning or in our sadness know that the sun will rise up again someday and that this too shall pass and that you will in your own time be able to move forward and even if you never get completely over it because I don't believe in that you will be able to see that you are stronger than you give yourself credit for. Much love and light and blessings. Bye.